We've got a mystery prize this weekend on the Fox Bet Super 6 app between the Rams and Seahawks on Saturday's NFL wildcard action. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? I'm your host, Jason Mattis, as always. Thanks for hanging out with me on this contest. This one takes us over to the Fox Bet Super 6 app, and it's a matchup between the Rams and the Seahawks on Saturday afternoon. Don't know what the prize is. That's right. It's a mystery prize. If I had to take a guess, I mean, we guys, you guys know that they were giving away $100,000 prizes throughout the year. They obviously did $1 million you know, there for a handful of weeks. It's probably my guess going to be you know, somewhere, I would think, in between that range. It's not going to be, I don't think, one of their biggest prizes ever because they uh, on Fox, they still host the NFC Championship game. So I think anything that was of any real big size will be held back for the NFC Championship game. But either way, I still think it'll be a really nice prize. And if nobody can get whatever the prize is, as always, there's always a guaranteed prize. And in this case, it's $1,000 where, where people will compete if you can get the most points right. Obviously, the two time, this is the uh, third time these two teams have gone out at this year Rams won the first matchup 23-16 Seahawks took that second one 2019 the Rams almost won both of those matchups I mean they were a bad golf pick there in that third quarter we tried to lob that ball up over the top to Robert Woods from winning that game but uh, they you know they he threw the bad pick and then the Rams could never really recover so this Rams team definitely seems to have that Seahawks number as for this contest though in this game this is the first time we've ever gotten these questions we've never gotten these questions before in the past the way they ask you these questions is you've got to pick the team and the difference amount we've always just gotten the team like for rushing yards you pick the Rams and whatever their total is now this is whoever you think is going to have the most rushing yards in by how many so really really tough that they ask us this maybe I mean, I thought, if I'm being brutally honest, I I really thought this was really tough. This was one of the harder ones to handicap because of the way they ask these questions. So maybe that does yield to a really big prize because in my mind, this is pretty tough. With that being said, let's jump on into it and see how we'll do. All right, question one is, what's going to be the combined completions in the first half by Russell Wilson and Jared Goff? Well, the Rams average 12.2 per half, and they allow 10.8 in that per half. Seahawks allow or the Seahawks get 12.1 per half, and they allow 14. So the math says the Rams should be at about 13.1, and the Seahawks should be at 11.5. So I'm going to go ahead and say 22 to 24. And I'm not really scared of what who's going to be the Rams quarterback. I don't buy into, you know, if it's going to be Wolfer, then, you know, that they're going to be a little bit more run heavy. Or if it's Goff, they're going to be run heavy, you know, because of his thumb injury. If Goff's out there, he's, you know, he's obviously healthy enough and he can run the office. And if Wolford's out there, he's going to run the office, offense and Goff, or I mean, and McVay is going to call pass plays that cater towards his strength. So I don't really, which quarterback it is, doesn't really have too much of a bearing on it for me. Just be on the alert out leading up to the game if we catch news that golf isn't playing because obviously that changes this question dramatically because you know uh, one of the quarterbacks isn't even playing so that's the only thing you got to really tune on this one is if is if golf ends up not being the starter all right question two is team with the most completions in the amount well based on question one we know that they get about the same but the seahawks allow more so i'm going to go ahead and say rams will be the team and it'll be by three uh completions Question three is team with the most rushing yards in the mount. Well, the Rams rushed for 126 yards per game over the course of the season, but it's down to 114 over their last three games. Seahawks rushed for 123 yards per game over the course of the season, but that's up 132 over the last three games. The Rams are allowing 91 yards per per game over the season, and they've brought that down even better over the last three games, and it's down to 78. Seahawks allow 95 over the course of the season and 96 in their last three games. The math says the Rams are about 105, and the Seahawks are about 106, but I'm going to give the edge here to the Rams just because they have the better defense. So give me Rams, and I'll say 11 to 14, but I'm definitely leaning on that Rams rush defense, which in my mind is significantly better to the eyes and then also to the numbers. Question four is team with the most receiving yards in the amount. Well, the Rams get 250 per game, and it's 209 over their last three games. Seahawks are at 246 over the course of the season, but down to 159 over the last three games. Talk about a passing offense that is struggling coming into the playoffs. Rams, on on what they're doing defensively, they're allowing 190 over the course of the season. About the same over the last three games. It's 186. 
Seahawks are at 285 over the course season, and they've improved that defense as because guys are getting healthy. Jamal Adams, cornerback there, and uh, Jaquiel Griffin. They're down to 242 over the last three games. So that puts the math at the Rams at about 226, and the Seahawks at 172. I mean, based on what they're doing, limping into the playoffs with that passing attack, I'm going to go ahead and say Rams here on this one. It'll be Rams 35 to 38 yards. Question five, team with the most punt returns. First time we've ever got punt asked to us in any kind. So team with the most punt return yards in the amount. Well, the Rams averaged 6.9 yards per punt return. They've had 28 fair catches on the season and 34 yards is their longest return. Rams are averaging 8.6 yards per return. They've had 22 fair catches, and their longest return is 20 yards. The Seahawks allow 7.1 yards per return on them, while the Rams allow a little bit more at 12.9. The Rams opponents have 20 fair catches, and the Seahawks have thir- opponents that only have 13 fair catches. So we can see that the Seahawks you know, return better. We can see that the Rams allow more in that all right, so yeah, Seahawks return it better. Seahawks or and the Rams re- allow more per punt return, but then the Rams will also go for more fair catches, where it looks like the Seahawks maybe take more chances because they have more returns and less fair catches. So I'm gonna go say Seahawks on this one and give me 21 to 25. And question six, as we know, is always what's going to be the winner and what's going to be that win margin? Well, go ahead and give me Rams to win the game. And I'll say they're going to win it by three to four. They won that first game. And then, I, you know, they won that first game by double digits, although the Seahawks got a late field goal, which made it a single score. But otherwise, you know, they won that by single digit. And, and they were right there in that second game. Again, other than a, a bad golf interception that third quarter, the, the Rams are right there. So in this matchup, give me the better defense. Um, and a team that under Sean McVay has has the, has the Seahawks number. He's five and three straight up against the Seahawks. So he, you know he, he's winning more than he's losing against Seahawks. And they're playing on the road, but you know playing on the road doesn't matter in this whole COVID era. And you know no fans in the stadium, so no bearing to me on where this game's playing. I like the Rams. Better defense, I think, all around just a much better team. So I'll take my chances here with the Rams if they can pull off what'll be perceived as an upset. But uh, defense to me is is much much superior. Or of this Seahawks defense, so I really like this Rams in this matchup, and that's how I'm going to fill out my chances to win some prize on Saturday on the Rams Seahawks game on the Fox Bet Super Six app. Go ahead and like this video if I've been a help to you, and as always, good luck on your picks, and I'll see you on the next contest. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.